how much you love your friends. I mean, sometimes they can make you crazy. Sometimes you wonder if you can even be friends. Take Jackie Bean, for example. He's a new friend, and he might not even be a good friend, but it almost all fell apart today. Let's just say that good intentions can have dire consequences if you're not paying attention. Children, we're very lucky to have been invited to tour a real live television studio courtesy of my brother, Jimmy G. I know all about television studios. Check this out. Yeah, it's a, uh... what is it? An old movie camera, obviously. I'm going to film this entire field trip so that we can remember it forever. And it's gonna be in black and white without sound. It's an acquired taste. This is a place of very serious business. We must absolutely stay in one group. Come on, now let's go and visit a real live television set. <laughs> Wait, Camilla. What? We have to stay with Ravi and Mr. Orloff. Hold on, I just want to check something out. I don't want to get into trouble. Just a second. Something about this television set is oddly familiar. Help me find a light. It's my house. What the... Jackie? No! <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, what a surprise. What a good surprise. Uh, you just caught me reading a script, but it's great to see you again. Great to see you too. <laughs> In my living room. I'll explain everything. But first, I have the biggest surprise in the world for you. Jackie Bean and the Seven Dwarfs. Your life is gonna be my new TV show. Do you love it? You have a lot to learn about surprising girls. You don't love it? No, I hate it. I hate it times a thousand. But, but no, 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 no buts. I don't want to talk about it. Just tell me there are no more surprises. Surprise! <laughs> Ravi Khan, I told you that we must all stay together. Where's Snow and Camilla? Whoa, Mr. Orloff, look what I just found. An old-timey coat, oh, some old-timey wingtips, and an old-timey mustache wax. It's an old-timey showtime! We're here to obey the rules, not for this old-timey showtime. Mr. Orloff, is there something you want to tell me? Grandpa Orloff, the famous silent movie actor. Ah, oh, they say the world forget you. I never did. Oh, here, try this on. It fits! Did you think I was gonna miss the trip to the TV studio? TV studio is my middle name. No, your middle name is Guy. Yeah. Love the show idea, Jackie. I, I love it too, or at least I used to love it. What's the deal, Snow? I, I thought you'd be happy. The deal is that you just stole my life. You didn't even ask. You can't just make a show about the dwarves. Like, what if the whole world finds out about them? Or what if something even worse happens? I would be famous. Yes, your life would change forever, but not in a good way. You definitely should have asked first. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm asking now. Can I make a show based on your life? It's the most interesting life I know. Well, it's a little too late for that. It's in the really early stages. We don't even have a poster yet. Wow! Great poster, Jackie! There's Brainio, Cuddly, Mysterio, <laughs> and me! Huh? Uh, it's an early stage poster. Are you okay? 
You like the poster, huh? Deco. Come on, Deco. Hello? Let's go check out the wardrobe. <laughs> We have a problem. Brainio, we have a problem. <laughs> Emergency meeting! <laughs> I just got off the phone with Snow. Deco has been greenalized. Greenalo what? You've never heard of it? <laughs> it's basic dwarf knowledge. A five year old could explain it. Uh, Mysterio, uh, please explain it. Sure. To put it simply, oh. as fairy tale characters, we dwarves must never find ourselves in certain specific circumstances under penalty of instant greenalization. The most essential circumstance to avoid is this. Never face a fictional double on the Tuesday full moon after a partial eclipse. Especially if you're wearing a blue jacket. Especially if you've had truffle jam toast for breakfast. What? You've had truffle jam without me? Full moon? Uh, Tuesday? A partial eclipse? And you know he's wearing a blue jacket. If all these conditions are met, said dwarf will be sucked into an infinite spiral. He will start growling and running around like a feral beast. And will turn green. Greenalization. No. Oh. Will Deco stay like this forever? No. There's an antidote. <coughs> May I? <coughs> we need to get this to snow. No! So, no! This is the worst on worst possible thing ever! Of course, the network executive will be here in a few minutes. If she sees him, my show is done. Who cares about your show? What about my dwarf? Can we just agree that we both have something to lose here? And yes, your thing is bigger. And yes, I screwed up. But can't we work together? Nice moment, guys, but I could really use some help here. Yes, come out. I'll let you try on all my hats. Oh, yeah? Who wants to play fetch? Oh, who's a good boy? Come here, good boy. Regular Deco would die if he heard that. Regular Deco isn't here. I'm an expert on greenalization, and Mysterio has the antidote. The mission's on our shoulders. You've got the brains. You've got the magic. You're missing the muscle! And I've never seen a TV studio before. Everybody, think of Deco. Think of the greenalization. The more of us that are in the studio, the higher risk we will fall victim. We only have one vial. It's Mysterio and me. Let's go. That Jackie Bean has some nerve. Do you think he has an ingenio in his show? He better have a beefy -o. Look at these. Wait a minute. We're the funny ones. <laughs> well, I'm a little funnier than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Not. Am. Not. Am. No, you're not. It's great! You've got rhythm. You've got style. <laughs> well, and you've got comedy. Stop! Cut. Something's missing. What is it? I can't express my vision without it, 
And yet, I have no idea what it is. Music, orchestra, lavish sets, a multi-million dollar production. <gasps> I've got it! Okay, are you ready? It's an umbrella! It's her, the network executive. <laughs> Did you enjoy our uh, uh, rehearsal? Rehearsal. Right, that's what you're calling it. <laughs> <coughs> it's a little <coughs> too <coughs> air conditioning. <coughs> Complain to someone who cares. Let's see if this show is as good as your agent says it is. You have three minutes to impress me. I've got it. Work with me. I'm Jackie, and this is my invisible dog, Jack-Jack. It's a beautiful day for a walk. Oh, no! Not on Old Lady White's roses. And definitely not on Old Lady White's. Old? Lady White? Why, hello, kind stranger. Uh, don't drag me into this. Maybe we should take hey! a walk down the stairs. How's the weather up there? <coughs> There's nothing you can do that's worse than what he's doing to himself. You should probably stick to singing, kid. And action! <laughs> impress preteen girls with your little ditties, but as for your LOL slash pop star who makes a killing on TV, I just don't see it. You were supposed to show me a new series featuring you and Seth Wharves. Instead, I got you, two ordinary girls, and an invisible dog. Did she just call us ordinary? <laughs> <laughs> That could have gone better. Goodbye, show. Goodbye, dwarves. Goodbye, life as I know it. No one would ever call me an optimist. So let me be the first to say it. No news is bad news. The whole world probably knows all about us by now. And they don't like us. But we didn't do anything to anyone. We'll just have to hide for 50 or 100 years. Enough time for the public to forget about Jackie Bean and his show. In 50 years, Snow will be a grandmother. We'll miss her entire life. But she'll be a wonderful Grammy. No. But still. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for calling us ordinary. You are ordinary. Are you okay? You're not scarred or psychologically scarred by anything that you may or may not have seen. <laughs> I'm great. I've been looking for something new for years, something to make your head spin, this psychotic green dwarf. <laughs> so original. This is the TV of tomorrow. It's your lucky day, kid. You got your show. Don't screw it up. Oh, 
Well, that was weird. But not ordinary. <laughs> well, here we are. Don't worry, we'll fix everything. <sighs> Great timing, guys. You are one with your umbrella. You are not a man holding an umbrella. You are the Umbrella Man! It's beautiful, it's magical, it's graceful, it's... It's a wrap, cut! I've seen worse. You have the vaguest bits of potential. Call September 22nd between 12.57 and 12.58 p.m. She said she'd seen worse. No one has ever been so supportive before. It's just I have swim classes at 12.56 p.m. on that day, so... So, farewell opportunity. Cut the lights, Ravi. Back to being Mr. Olaf. The professor with the umbrella. Exit stage right. Mr. Orloff, do you by any chance carry around tape with you? Time to go. We'll set up a home far away where no one has ever heard about Jackie Bean. The others will catch up. Farewell, beloved telescope. I'm gonna miss you guys. Goodbye, secret little butterfly. Goodbye, faithful refrigerator. And goodbye, teaspoon. You can take the teaspoon with you. It's the one I shared with Snow when we ate Marco's cakes in secret. Anybody know where the truffle jam is? I'd like to bid it farewell. Uh -huh. That was close. Ooh. Except for Deco's still out there. We need to find him. Oh, Mysterio, don't look at that poster. Why did they choose an actor with such a ridiculous beard? Glasses? Stop it! Thank you, Snow. Let's find Deco. This way! Hello? <laughs> Let's take him by surprise. Immobilize him and wham! Shove that potion down his throat. <laughs> I'll handle it. Deco, it's me, Snow. Come on, be reasonable, okay? You're frightening everybody, and I even think you're scaring yourself a little bit. Besides, you've been greenalized, and since then, you're not as handsome as usual. Come on, a handsome boy like you does not deserve to be in the trash. <laughs> Drink this. I think it'll make you feel a lot better. Where are we? What happened? <sighs> Do I still get to tour the studio? What are you doing here? Yes, you still get to tour the studio, but make sure you don't look at anything that says Jackie Bean and the Seven Dwarfs, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Was I in the garbage? Oh, so, you got the show. 100 episode order, prime slot, dream come true. Congratulations. I said no. What do you mean you said no? No. Just like that. <laughs> Believe me, it, it wasn't easy. But you were so excited. You have a real life with the dwarves. Your real life is more important than my televised one. Are you sure? More than sure. I'm sorry I didn't ask. Forgive me? <laughs> well, the only reason why you found my life fascinating is because it wasn't yours. Your life is pretty amazing, though. So, what now? <laughs> Jackie Bean versus Green Silla! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you even have a poster. <laughs> An early stage poster. It was the network executive's idea. She really likes Greenzilla. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. You can't expect your friends to be perfect because nobody's perfect. But if you can find someone who pays attention the way Jackie paid attention, those are the good kind of friends. Those are the keepers. <laughs>